How did we all get here? With the towel? Sorry. I should really find my father. She's still out there. Not for long. Freya spoke about it earlier. Good night. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Ash. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried. You know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort. And knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki. It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she... Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just Sorry. happy to help. I'm glad you're okay. I just gotta make sure my dad is, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go find him! Oh, there he is! And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just... Swap in our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you. Y'all remember that time you walked near tall fire? I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. 
mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See him, Amir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildesvini. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. This is for you, too. Mm. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. It seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Yodnan. 
she destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people, our people, to protect you. I don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. You are ready. Remember our promise. Yeah.
you see in there, brother? Probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen, a Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. We'll stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. to first we could take care of any lingering business in the realms or investigate those pieces of asgard either way we are with you brother
Linda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's Tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go. Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Hrasfelder. Enough. We will continue later. Oh. Thanks for collecting that. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just... Uh... Don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. We're meeting at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. You need it? I got it. Y'all feeling, uh, crappy? Oh, uh, what can I do for a goddess? Impressive. Mm, know what you want? Y'all feeling uh, crappy? Enough, Hello, Master Kratos. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. <sighs> what else is there? Ah, if I had a stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin's gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no. It's from excitement. 
Hardly any non-giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. So this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories. And then some. Something is on your mind. What is it? Freyr's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Companies here, Finn. Bengaboda. Kratos, Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus' heart. Well, there. Oh, like you weren't thinking it, brother. Ahem. You're a cherished ally, Angraboda. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. Kratos, the last time you were here was because of Faye, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. You painted these shrines. Some of them. Some I finished for my mother. Your work is beautiful. Your skill with a brush is unmatched, Angerboda. My son. He draws. He told me. Although he'd do well to learn from your use of color. We come from a long line of artisans, so he has it in him. He just needs some discipline to bring it out. <laughs> I like you. Angerboda. You are the last giant left in your name. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um, not really one for visitors, but she's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... She might be. Someday. I don't know quite yet, but I think it's a start.
profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge.
what is wrong. I should have changed. Sewn some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
gets bigger, the more you take away. To all things housed in her silence Nature offers a violence The bear that keeps to his own I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri. He's just, uh, I mean, you know. Yeah, fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head. Riddle solved. Oh! <laughs> 